Inspect the impeller and replace it if cracked or badly worn. Inspect the impeller and shaft threads for dirt or damage and clean or dress the threads as required. The shaft and impeller threads must be completely clean before reinstalling the impeller. Even the slightest amount of dirt on the threads can cause the impeller to seize to the shaft, making future removal difficult or impossible without damage to the impeller or shaft. Install the full set of impeller shims provided with the seal and screw the impeller onto the shaft until it is seated against the seal. A firm resistance will be felt as the impeller presses the stationary seat into the seal plate bore. As the stationary seat becomes fully seated, the seal spring compresses. The shaft sleeve will break the nylon shear ring. Continue to screw the impeller onto the shaft until the impeller, shims, and sleeve are fully seated against the shaft shoulder. A clearance of 25 thousandths to 40 thousandths inch between the impeller and the seal plate is recommended for maximum pump efficiency. Measure this clearance and add or remove impeller adjusting shims as required. For more information on pump hydraulics, equipment, or application engineering, watch Gorman Rupp's YouTube channel and visit us at grpumps.com.